An event that was fitting for a national treasure was held in the nation's capital to pay tribute to the late Pog singer and musical genius. The event was attended by thousands of people, including people from all over the world. The music and entertainment industries are in a state of sadness following the tragic passing of the cherished poet, who passed away last week at the age of 65 after a valiant struggle against his illness. The funeral procession for McGowan was driven through the south of the city, which is where Shane and his wife Victoria had lived peacefully for many decades. After that, the procession traveled to Shane's hometown in Ninak, Tipperary, for the burial service. He was surrounded by his longtime friends, including Bono, Bob Geldof, and Hollywood actor Johnny Depp, who all attended the heartfelt memorial service. Additionally, a recording of Bono was played to the congregation of the chapel as Depp and Geldof gave a reading. While the liturgy was in progress, Nick Cave gave a performance of A Rainy Night in Soho for his friend. The song, You're the One, was performed by Imelda May, Liam Omanle, Declan Orwork, and other musicians. Earlier, Depp, who is now 60 years old, was present for McGowan's wedding to Victoria. While he was making his way into the chapel, he was dressed in a black suit, a hat, a scarf, and dark sunglasses. He was also using headphones. In the beginning, the local priest Father Pat Gilbert welcomed the world to Shane's service, which was filled with celebrities. Within the congregation, he made the following statement. We welcome the world of people this great man influenced, encouraged, entertained, and touched. Your presence here is very important, and a huge statement of the love and esteem we all have and have for this great man. He concluded by saying, We gather together his life, his loves, his lyric, and his light, and his music before this altar, and to pray for the eternal rest of his soul. During the event, Victoria handed mementos of her husband, which included a copy of an album by Johnny Depp, whom she described as a massive fan of the frontman for the band The Pogs. The items that were brought up to the altar included a record by Led Zeppelin, a book written by James Joyce, a hurling stick, a tipperary flag, and artwork and lyrics by McGowan that create a book about Croc of God. This book was also brought up. The first reading of the service was delivered by Jerry Adams, who had previously served as the president of Sinn Féin. He related how Victoria McGowan, McGowan's wife, had requested that he do so. He expressed his gratitude by saying, My words are words of gratitude. Gratitude for Shane's genius, for his songs, his creativity, and his attitude. He went on to say that he was thankful for McGowan's celebration of the marginalized, the poor, the exiled, and the underdogs. An additional statement made by Adams was that McGowan lifted us out of ourselves and never gave up. The voyage of Shane began in South Lots Road, with a horse-drawn carriage transporting his coffin down Pierce Street and onto Westland Row. This occasion provided those who had a deep affection for him with the opportunity to say their final goodbyes. The Artane Band and a lone piper were the ones who led the funeral procession, and the solo piper was the one who supplied the music for the mournful event. In what was a joyous celebration of the life of the legendary singer, music resounded across the city as masses joined together in harmony and sang some of the musicians' most famous hits. Stunning renditions of Fairy Tale of New York and A Rainy Night in Soho were sung by the Artane Band, much to the delight of the mourners who had assembled to pay their respects. As the hearse made its way slowly through the enormous crowds, Fans were observed throwing flowers in the direction of the hearse, which was wrapped in these three colors.